So what is an AWS account? An AWS account is nothing but a container which customers are going to use to access AWS services and resources. So let's say for example, you decide to be an AWS customer. The first thing you need to do is to create an AWS account. That account is actually what you're going to use to be able to access your AWS services and to also access your AWS resources. When you create an AWS account for the first time, while you actually register that account, you're going to make use of a username, which is actually going to be an email address, and you're actually going to make use of a password. When you create this account with the email and the password, AWS is actually going to create something known as a root user. This root user is pretty much the owner of this AWS account. So as the owner of the AWS account, the root user has the ability to access all AWS services in that account, and the root user has super privileges in that account. That means the root user can actually terminate that AWS account any time that it wants so. AWS highly recommends that when you actually create the root user, or when you create the account, do not manage the account with the root user credentials. It is advisable to make use of IAM identities to manage that AWS account as you go forward. One other thing you're going to understand as you move in the courses, you're going to actually make use of AWS services. So in your AWS account, you're going to actually access AWS services. For example, you're going to access AWS services like IAM. You're going to make use of AWS services like S3. You're going to make use of AWS services like PPC. An AWS service is nothing but an application created by AWS. And that application is used by customers to host their resources or their applications. So that definitely means that when you access an AWS service, and anything you create out of an AWS service is actually going to be called a resource. So we're talking about resources of AWS. We're simply talking about that thing that you create out of an AWS service. Anytime you create a resource on AWS, anytime you create a resource, that resource is actually going to be given an ARN or an ID. So when you create a resource, be expected to actually have an eight hour end of that resource. That eight hour end simply means an Amazon resource name, which is just the unique identifier of the resource you created from that AWS service. So if I go to IAM, I can actually create resources like IAM users. I could create resources like an IAM groups. I could create resources like IAM roles. If I go to S3, I can create resources like S3 bucket that is simply a resource. But just so you know, a resource is going to have an ARN. An ARN is just the unique identifier of that particular resource in that AWS account.